In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered as one family as we celebrate today, first, the sixth Sunday in ordinary time. And second, we celebrate today the Heart's Day, Valentine's Day. We thank the Lord for the many graces and blessings we have received for the community of the Light of Jesus and those who celebrate the feast in the different areas of our communities. We entrust everything to the Lord. We thank the Lord for those who celebrate today their birthdays, wedding anniversaries, those who receive graces and blessings from the Lord. We entrust to the Lord our needs, especially to the sick, those who were affected by COVID, and those who need most of our prayers. And also, we present to the Lord our particular needs, particular intentions and petitions in this Holy Mass. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and to, you, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what they have done and in what they have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as a blessed Mary, ever virgin, angels and saints into you my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for, for me, me to the lord our god. may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, you, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace and to become a dwelling blessing to you. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a scab, or pustule, or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron, the priest, or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, Unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean. Since he is in fact unclean, he shall dwell apart, making his abode outside of the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and I, you fill me with joy of salvation. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with your with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. In his spirit there is no guile. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. 
Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered. No. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. You just exalt all the upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hands and touched him and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See, that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing. What Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter to spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in the certain places, and people kept coming to him from anywhere, from everywhere. My dear friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to each one of you first. Uh, my dear members of the Light of Jesus, I would like to greet you a happy Valentine's Day. Today is Heart's Day. We know that uh, when we say uh, Heart's Day, it's all about the uh, day for those who love and who knows, for those who know how to love. Yung marunong magmahal at may minamahal. Today is Valentine's Day, and I wish you uh, happiness, especially as you celebrate today the Valentine's Day to the couples, our married couples, those uh, who have uh, boyfriends or girlfriends and uh, will be having the celebration of a Heart's Day. I wish you the best today. My dear brothers and sisters, the message of the gospel for today is all about the healing of a leprous person, a person with a leprosy. This is a disease of the skin. And this uh, disease, especially during the time of Jesus, and even in the Old Testament, is a communicable disease, a dreaded disease. That is why people you know, with uh, a uh, uh, sickness of leprosy are 
of being isolated. Oh, they are being asked to be alone, go out of the community, of the uh, uh, people of, of God, stay away from uh, the many people. Second, those who have leprosy are uh, hopeless, no? are uh, uh, people who, who have sin within themselves, hopelessness. They saw their situation hopeless. Because at that time, there is actually no cure for this kind of disease. No? And this uh, disease, no, after having been studied, uh, this disease is known as uh, a, uh, 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 a disease no? that the, uh, is uh, being communicate, com communicable. So, nakakahawa ang sakit na ito. And uh, those who uh, wear with the persons who have leprosy easily uh, uh, affected by this uh, sickness. That is why as much as possible, you know, they uh, are asking the persons with uh, leprosy to go out of the community. In the uh, first uh, Reading it was uh, clearly seen how no they are considered no people with leprosy. They are known as unclean, unclean people, and they need to uh, be cut from the community. Also, those who have leprosy are persons being alienated. No, they are. They need to be to live alone, and they need to be alienated. Otherwise, no, they will communicate sickness to others. This is a kind of same with the pandemic we are having now. This COVID nineteen, no, and uh, uh, those who are affected by COVID, you you know that uh, they are being asked to be away from the members of their family. Lockdown or quarantine, no? For some, 21 days. For some, 14 days. For some, 10 days. Depending upon the gravity of the uh, uh, coronavirus, no? Affecting within each one or with those who were affected by uh, coronavirus 19. That is why those who got sick, no? they're being asked no, to, to go away from the community. Stay away. Leave the community. Go out of the community. You're being branded as unclean, as if you uh, sinned, transgressed the Lord, that you need to be cut off from the community. At yan minsan ang mahirap mga minamahal na kapag iwalay ka, hinihiwalay ka, no? o, o itinatakwil ka ng community. That is, you know, very, very hurting on the part of the person. Dito lang sa atin, no? if experience COVID, and if you know that this person uh, has uh, and, uh, undergone the uh, process of the COVID no, na talagang uh, nahirapan siya, nadala siya sa hospital, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, paglalagay ng iba't ibang mga uh, uh, sinasaksak sa kanyang buong hanga o ano paman para lang na mabuhay ay sabihin mo na he has to be uh, away from us. She has to live our community. That is why, you know, in our world today, you know, each one of us is a suspect of COVID you know, because the COVID might be, uh, uh, even if you are uh, uh, strong, you know, even if you are healthy, you, know, you can still uh, have the uh, COVID you know, with you. Kaya malaga yung nandiyan palagi yung pag-ingat, no? Always having the physical distancing, using of disinfection, 
alcohol or anything that uh, would make us clean all the time uh, using face mask or face shield. This is very important nowadays. You know. That is why people who have uh, been uh, sick of uh, uh, leprosy or coronavirus need to uh, be cut from the community and need to undergo process of healing. This is very important, process of healing. That is why there is lockdown, there is quarantine for the person to uh, undergo the process. Otherwise, all of us no, will uh, get sick. All of us will be communicated with the sickness. All of us will be affected. And we do not want that to happen in our life. And what is now the message for all of us no, of uh, the uh, readings or the gospel that uh, uh, we heard on the sixth Sunday in the ordinary time. First, that here Jesus has presented himself as the Lord who has the power to heal the sick. He, in the gospel, Jesus moved with pity, stretched out his stand, touched him and said, I do will it be made clean. Here, Jesus is seen as the person who wanted to extend healing, to stretch out the uh, healing power of God. Here, he wanted to give assurance to the person, I will do it. <clears throat> be made clean. What is important is that Jesus has assured the person with leprosy that I am here. I will do it. I am willing to extend to you the healing. Be made clean. And the person immediately received healing. Second, the gospel speaks about the assurance of the hope to the person who got the sick of leprosy. He was made clean by the Lord. And this is hope on the part of the person who got this kind of sickness. This is hoping against hope, acceptance of the personal healing he received from the Lord. Napaganda. This is accepting the hope in spite of having this kind of sickness no, has no cure no, during the time of Jesus. And if there is a cure, napakatagal. No? Kailangan mo nang ihiwalay ka, ilayo ka sa komunidad. Look at Job. No? He also experienced this kind of sickness. And after some time, he got healed. But here on the part of the person who got sick, 
he received hope. He received the healing power of God. And immediately, leprosy left the person and he was made clean. Immediately. With the assurance from the Lord, I will make you clean. My dear brothers and sisters, if the Lord assured us of his grace and mercy, no matter what happened, we will receive it immediately. Hindi yung matagal pa, hindi yung dadaan pa sa o mahabang panahon. Kundi kaagad-agad, immediately, he received healing. And on the part of the person who received healing, this is hope. May pag-asa that the end of the tunnel, even if he is experiencing this uh, uh, kind of sickness, there is hope. This is hoping against hope. And he received it. The person who got sick has been made clean by the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, what will be our reaction if we receive healing immediately in our life? No? And what is the reaction of the person here? Even if uh, he received warning from the Lord, no? he immediately uh, went away and began to publicize the whole matter. Spreading the report, reporting to everybody that he made clean, that he received healing. Out of his joy, out of the hope that he received from the Lord, he publicly informed people, kung may Panahon tayo noon, sa kapanahonan natin, kung mayroon social media noon, baka matagal na niyang inilagay sa social media na at sabihin sa buong mundo na I have made clean by the Lord. Gumaling ako sa pamagitan ng Panginoon. Anong hamon sa atin? Sa karanasan, no, what is the challenge for all of us, no? especially no, to those receive, who receive healing from the Lord, to those who were being touched by God's mercy and love, by God's grace and goodness. What is the message for all of us? First and foremost, that we need to be Caring for the sick. No, Jesus, no, walang, wala siyang uh, mga, wala siyang, ang Panginoon, no, hindi, hindi na niya, wala siyang pangimi o kin, na kung saan hinawakan niya itong mayroong uh, mayroong uh, uh, leprous na ito. Itong taong ito na uh, nakaranas na mag, mayroong sakit sa balat. Hinawakan niya. No? Hinipo niya para mapagaling ang taong ito. Walang pangingimi sa kanya. The challenge for all of us is in our life, we need to be caring for the sick. Huwag po tayo matakot kapag may nakita tayong may sakit o nagka-COVID. 
Now, of course, we need to be practical nowadays that we need to have PPEs or, uh, or face masks, face shield, to be able to reach out to the person who got sick. Kailangan nila ng ating kalinga, ng ating tulong, ng ating assurance na narito tayo sa kanila. Kapag naka-lockdown ka o nahiwalay ka, we have social communications, no? Make use of them. Extend your help in one way or another. How can you be of help to those, no? Being locked down, to those being cut from the society. How can you be of help to them? First, your social media. Kung pwede lang naman makipag-usap ka sa kanya, social media, hindi ka naman mahawaan yan. O di kaya, text. Text the person who got sick. No? O di kaya, kung may panahon ka at may oras ka at kaya mo, pumunta ka sa kanyang bahay. Magbigay ka ng saging o, o apple o ano mang yung mga maliliit na bagay na masasabi niyang, ah, mayroong mga taong kumakalinga rin pala sa akin. So, don't be afraid of those who got sick, especially of COVID. Huwag po tayo matakot. Dahil sa lahat naman nagkakasakit. Of course, ayaw natin mahawa. That is why we need to be protected and to follow the uh, needed protocols. Pero yung iwanan natin minsan sila o layuan natin sila, ay talagang lalo siyang pinanghinaan ng loob. Ang nagkasakit na tao lalong mawala ng pag-asa. So do not be afraid of those who get sick. Any kinds of sickness. Second, we are challenged to also, like Jesus, become instruments of healing. Tayo mismo ay mag instrumento ng Diyos para na makapagpagaling tayo sa mga taong may sakit. Pray over them. Extend your blessing upon them. Go to the person and your presence is more than enough for the person who got sick to be healed. Makita lang niya yung presensya ninyo. Sila ay gagaling at hindi sila panghinaan ng loob. Dahil alam nila, somebody, someone close to them, a person no, is there, no? present to be with him or with her. At dito po tayo tinatawagan, be instruments of healing. Allow yourself to be used by the Lord to be instruments of healing to those who got sick. Always remember, O lahat po tayo nagkakasakit. At kapag panahon na kung saan tayo na nagkakasakit, baka wala nang lumapit sa atin dahil sa tayo mismo ay hindi tayo naging oh, tagapangalaga na may sakit o hindi tayo naging instrumento para na ipahatid ang oh, ating oh, panalangin o ang ating presensya, may makita ang ating presensya sa mga taong may sakit. Kaya mga minamahal, we are all challenged to be instruments of healing. Use your hands, no? touch those who are sick and let the healing power of God be upon you to the person who got sick. At makikita mo, mayroong, mayroong mababago sa taong nilapitan mo o binisita mo o inalayan mo ng iyong prayers. 
Itong hamon sa atin, this is invitation of the Lord for all of us, especially as we give hope and as we help those people who got sick and those people in dire need. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into <clears throat> heaven and, se- and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We look to the Lord who gives, preserves, and saves life as he did with a poor leper. May our loving Father give us a loving heart similar to his. As we pray, Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons lead the flock with the compassionate heart of Jesus our Savior. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May political and civil leaders move with compassion to the cries of those who are suffering because of racial and religious discrimination, violence and terrorism, and render to them justice and peace. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May the Lord make us all his instruments to comfort those who suffer, to lift the spirit of the depressed, and to bring his love and hope to those broken in body and spirit. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May our society never lose respect for human dignity in life. May we care for and defend the elderly, the sick, the poor, the disabled, the refugees, and children. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. May the Lord welcome our departed brothers and sisters into his kingdom, where they will behold God face to face, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns for our country in our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, revealed how close you are to us especially to those who suffer. Hear our prayers and give us joy and serenity as we continue to work for your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to please the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord God, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. 
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. With the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing them of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, <clears throat> for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, Sicilian Bishop, all the clergy and all of you gathered in this celebration. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother too, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family of God, let us now pray together the prayer Jesus himself has taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead, lead us, us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver <clears throat> us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share and offer each other the peace and the love of the Lord. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present to the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon the heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So before I give the final blessing, I just would like to greet each one of you. Happy Valentine's Day, lalong lalo na po sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay, mga <clears throat> kapatid natin na may sakit, may karamdaman, di makalabas, so we will... Uh, extend to them our Valentine's greetings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you always from every distress 
and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.